It seems like air fryers are all the rage. I mean, they were popular a couple of years ago, and then people kind of forgot about the technology. And then in 2020, it blew up again. And I get it, because it's really convenient, and it's almost mess-free. So today, I'm going to show you my favorite chicken air fried recipes that I think everyone should master. There are two main reasons I see why people air fry. The first one being you don't want to deep fry, so you're going to air fry. And when you're air frying, you're not really deep frying. It's really more like a, a faster convection oven that spins the air faster around the ingredients or the dish that you're putting in there, uh, which is why it makes it really nice and crispy. So certain items work and others, unfortunately, don't. The second reason I feel air frying is really attractive to people and why it blew up in 2020 is because it's convenient. Not only convenient in terms of kind of like that one pot cooking mentality, but also in terms of cleaning. You can do all of it in there and you just have to clean that one contraption, which if you're cooking at home, the last thing you wanna do is be like, you know, cleaning up a whole, whole mess. Chicken is one of those ingredients that a lot of people eat on the daily basis and people are always looking for new recipes. There are three ways that I think chicken works really well in an air fryer. Uh, one, being the chicken wing. Two, being a mock fried chicken um, and also kind of like a schnitzel. And third is kind of like a roast style chicken. You can do all those things in air fryers and they work beautifully. And I'm gonna show you variations of all those items today. Today's video is brought to you by Smart and it's all about switching from unhealthy to healthy. So later on in the video, I will talk to you about how switching to the fastest mobile network in the Philippines is very easy. Start by patting your chicken wings until completely dry. Season with salt. Take a small amount of oil and just cover all sides of the air fryer. Cook these at 190 degrees Celsius for about 12 minutes, flip, and then do the exact same thing again. We're gonna finish this for six minutes at 220 centigrades just to get some nice color on them. Now we need a sauce. I'm just gonna show you how to make a really quick kind of like Korean style-ish inspired uh, barbecue sauce for chicken wings that I absolutely love making. So remove the grill part, but make sure you keep all those bits of flavors in there from the cooking chicken. Add in some butter, um, some grated garlic, ketchup, gochujang, miso or donjang, honey, vinegar, and some sesame oil. Just mix this all together until you got like a nice thick paste forming and then place this in the air fryer at 200 degrees for about three minutes. What we're looking to do here is to both smoothen out but also thicken out the sauce. You can use your basket as a tossing bowl to dress your chicken. Really key in this recipe um, to make sure you let your fried wings kind of chill for a bit so that it puffs up and gets nice and airy. Uh, really cool hack to make the sauce in the basket. First time I ever did that and worked out beautifully. Less things to clean, which is one of the points of an air fryer. Let's try this. They look beautiful, honestly. Mm. If you serve this to me in a restaurant, and didn't specify that these were air fried, I'd have no idea. They're perfect. Really juicy, but crispy and kind of like sticky and messy. This is the right way to do it. I have probably had every single network in the Philippines and honestly, I've never seen speeds like I do on Smart. The other day I was at home downloading video and I had 350 Mbps on my Smart Bro um, on Rocket Internet 5G, which was insane. It was probably the first time I saw that kind of speed in the Philippines. That's why I thought about this theme for this particular video because air frying is all about taking something unhealthy and making it healthy and it's actually really easy. So the whole point of it is because of Smart's new mobile number portability, you can actually switch to Smart and make that Smart move 
so easily and actually keep and retain your mobile number that you might love or that's probably the only one that you actually remember. Honestly, when I think about switching my mobile number, it gives me so much anxiety because I don't want to have to remember a new mobile number. At the end of the day, the mobile experience you get with Smart is really just the best. It's the easiest and it's the fastest. And we all know nowadays we're probably doing a lot of work online. So if you need to make that switch, go ahead and make that smart move. Okay, back to our chicken. Start with some boneless chicken thighs. I always recommend boneless for air fryers most of the time because it just makes the cooking so much faster. If you don't have buttermilk, just add in some vinegar to your milk and then marinate your chicken in that for about three hours or more. You can go all the way overnight here. For our dredging station, crack a couple of eggs and mix some flour with some salt and pepper. Yes, you can add some onion powder and garlic powder to season the flour as well, but keep in mind that the more you season flour, the more likely it will burn quick. One thing that's really important here is when you add your chicken to your flour, make sure you really press it in. With an air fryer, you risk kind of losing the skin of the chicken. So make sure to really kind of get aggressive with it. And this will make sure that it actually clings on to the chicken. And then we're gonna brush it with a little bit of oil just to kind of get closer to the real thing. You wanna put this on a grill with lots of holes and aeration to give your chicken the maximum air exposure. This goes into the air fryer at 190 degrees for 10 minutes before turning it over and then adding it back for another 10 minutes. And then finally finishing it at 220 for three minutes. Obviously fried chicken in oil is always gonna be the best. What we're trying to find here is whether or not an air fryer can give you something just as good. Texture-wise, what's really cool, you do get those ridges that you like in kind of like an American style fried chicken, which is really nice. This was like a wet and dry batter, but it worked really well. Coloration-wise, it's a little uneven. That's to be expected with air fryers, um, depending on the height of the chicken and where it is in the oven. Um, but it is so moist. It's crazy moist. Look at that. It's not dry at all. Like, I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but it really is juicy and moist. This is a win. I wanted to make like a healthier chicken farm since it's one of our favorite things to eat at home. Get your breasts out, cut those in two, and then pound out thinly. Cover this in flour, dip it in eggs, and then press it down on some panko. Press this with a little bit of olive oil and cook at 190 degrees for about 10 minutes. Flip and then back in for 10 minutes at 190. Cover this in your favorite tomato or pasta or pizza sauce and cover completely in mozzarella cheese. You can also add in some cheddar or some Parmesan if you want some sharpness. This goes in at 220 for three minutes, just until you develop a beautiful golden crust. Top with some parsley if you like. This is probably one of my favorite ways of cooking chicken breasts in an air fryer. You could probably do like some sort of stir fries if you mess around with it enough. I just wanted to start with the basics. We can always do a second video where we delve deeper into more recipes we can do it with an air fryer. Um, and let's try it. Let's see if this actually passes the taste test. So it looks juicy and it still looks really moist. And it has some crunch. I'm happily surprised with this. I thought because it was so thin and an air fryer might dry out a little bit. Turned out really well. So if you want to do something without coating, like how we did the chicken wings, you can actually do that with probably like a bone-in chicken thigh and kind of like make some slits in there or go for boneless chicken thighs. 
toss in whatever your favorite marinade or barbecue sauce is. You can probably cook that for 24 minutes and you get some really good, easy roasted chicken. So if you were to ask me if I think air fryers deserve to be in kind of like a modern kitchen nowadays, definitely because I feel ovens are way too big. Not a lot of people have the space for ovens or the budget. And I know some students, for example, that are in dorms probably don't have the space for stoves and stuff like that. So an air fryer is probably something sneaky and can get past security. Break rules, kids.